In our next adventure, we show how you can use an inner join with not just a couple of real tables, but a table variable. It's pretty easy, but first, let's take a look at the employee table on the department table real quick. And, you know, just like any typical, you know, they're both lookup tables, but one has a foreign key to the other table. Uh, here we have 11 different employees. Notice they each have a DP key. Whereas the department table, you know, that, that's the foreign key, which just happens to map to the primary key uh, in the department table. So in in a perfect world, you would think that every department has cust or employees and that every employee belongs to one real valid department. But in this database, that's not the case. I gave somebody a key that doesn't exist in the other table. I made one of them null. And then down here in the department table, I gave somebody a key that just never shows up in the employee table. So it's in a department with nobody there. You know, they're never busy. Um, OK, so that's just really like kind of a rough idea. Well, normally what somebody might do is they might want to just do a join between these two tables uh, with you know the employee first name and then last name. And then this will show from the other table the name of the department. So when you run that, you know it, it comes back. And by the way, there's 11 employees, but it's only showing nine because these are the nine that actually are mapped to a real department in the system. And so, you know, that, that's a nice little query. It does what we want. And we weren't going to get into how I could do a left join and get other customers and all this stuff. I just want to show that this is an inner join, very simple and straightforward, between two real live tables. But sometimes you might want to use like a temp table or even a table variable in this case, because you might be pulling data from a whole bunch of different sources and, you know, filtering stuff out of it and just doing a whole bunch of stuff to it. And sometimes it might be nice to just put that into a, a table variable. I'm just going to show a really simple example of how you might do that. Now, when you make a table variable, unlike a temp table where you could just do a select into, here you have to declare the table variable. So to be nice, I just gave it four fields, the four that we actually need. Um, and then once it's declared, then you, ha you can insert into it by doing insert into table. You list the fields that you're going to put into, and then you say, and then you, you run, you can either put like real values or you can just have query results go into it. So what we're doing is we're dumbing down, basically we're taking everything from the employee table other than people from departments one and five. And then what I'm gonna do, we'll just, uh, we'll select from the temp table so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so what it is, this is a dumbed down list of the data that was in the employee table because it has less records Instead of having 11 customers, there's only eight. And instead of having all those fields, it only has these four fields. So that's what we're going to be using in our join. So in the join, you would do this just like we did it on the last screen. Here we're saying select you know, the fields that we want from. Now in this case, it's employees, inner join departments, on where the department DP key is equal to the employee DP key. But here, the only difference is that you know the select statement is the same yeah that's all the same the order by is the same the only thing that's different is in the from clause instead of using the 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 name employees for the real employee table we just reference our temp table um, at tbl and that's all we have to do and when we do that now i'm not going to select from the table variable this time i'm just going to run the whole thing and then you can see what it does so bam, there we have it. So instead of using uh, the real department table and the real employee table, we use the real department table, but we interjoin that up against the table variable that just exists in memory for a few seconds, you know, and then we wave goodbye. Sells off into the sunset. Nobody cares about it after that. But that's how you would do that. In real life, you'd probably be pulling a lot more stuff from a lot more places into a table variable. Probably if you had like 10 years of data with millions of records in a huge table and you're just pulling stuff for like a specific month or a specific week, you know, that's when you would probably do something like that in real life. Hope this was helpful.